I'm a leaf lean uh, freshman and I uh, live in uh, Frostburg. I uh, teach that uh, burying and whatever uh, else they are interested in. I uh, learned to make the uh, plaited uh, rug when I was a kid uh, by my great grandmother. Uh, also uh, learned uh, how to sew it uh, together in uh, various uh, ways. They last uh, quite uh, well uh, if you uh, sew uh, together right. I've uh, taught a lot of people over their, uh, their years and uh, back in the 50s. I uh, taught uh, some uh, friends uh, who were uh, in school with me. I'm Carlene Dowell, and we're here on my farm, the prairie, and um, I am a new shepherdess. I've been here on the farm for about five years now, and when I first came here, I, I have never lived on a farm before, so when I first came here, I bought some of every kind of animal I could think of, to see who I liked, and I fell in love with sheep. And then I fell in love with their wool products and the different kinds of wool that there are. So I wanted to learn how to make braided rugs. I spin and I crochet, I don't knit well, but um, I thought it would be fun to make braided wool rugs. Well, no one around here makes braided wool rugs, but I asked at MCTA, and they referred me to Elaine to teach me how to make the, the what she calls her plaited rugs. So I took the concepts that she has taught me with the, the cloth plaiting, and I have taken the same concept and made it with wool. What is that saying? Um, scrub it up, fix it up, or do without. I think that Americans tend to throw away so many things and it is so good to recycle and to make, give a, a new life to discarded clothing or whatever. Um, each product has a history. You know, when you look at the product that you've produced, you can think, oh, I remember sitting and talking with so-and-so while I was doing this. And do you remember when whatever happened? Every, it gives, everything has a history to it. Um, oh, I remember the you that produced that wool. You know, I mean, um, it's just a way of... Uh, it's sort of a preservation of memories also.